Africa's deadliest snake, the black mamba can kill a person with just two drops of venom, Live Science reported. Named for the dark, inky color inside of their mouths, black mambas are brownish in color. They average around 8 feet in length, and can move at 12 miles per hour. Here's what a black mamba's venom does to your body, once injected, the venom interferes with activity at a junction where nerves and muscles connect, resulting in paralysis. The venom is also cardiotoxic, it can lead to cardiac arrest. Scientists aren't sure how many people are killed every year by black mambas, but Blumenthal estimates it is responsible for the largest number of snake-related deaths in southern Africa. These pit vipers, which live in Central and South America and are between 3.9 and 8.2 feet long and weigh up to 6 kilograms, are responsible for about half of all snakebite venom poisonings in Central America. A bite from a ferdolance can turn a person's body tissue black as it begins to die, because ferdolance venom contains an anticoagulant, a bite from this snake can cause a person to hemorrhage. And if that didn't scare you off, consider this, a female can give birth to 90 fierce offspring. The boom slang which can be found throughout Africa but lives primarily in Swaziland, Botswana, Namibia, Mozambique, and Zimbabwe, is one of the most venomous of the so-called rear fang snakes. About 24 hours after being bitten on the thumb by a juvenile boomslang herpetologist Carl Patterson Schmidt died from internal bleeding from his eyes, lungs, kidneys, heart and brain. Such snakes can fold their fangs back into their mouths when not in use. As in other deadly snakes, this one has hemotoxic venom that causes their victims to bleed out internally and externally. With an egg-shaped head, oversized eyes and a bright green patterned body, the boomslang is quite the looker. When threatened, the snake will inflate its neck to twice its size and expose a brightly colored flap of skin between its scales. Native to the mountains and grasslands of Southeast Australia, the Eastern Tiger Snake is named for the yellow and black bands on its body, though not all populations sport that pattern. Its potent venom can cause poisoning in humans in just 15 minutes after a bite and is responsible for at least one death a year on average. Around 58,000 deaths in India are attributed to snake bites every year, and the Russell's viper is responsible for most of these mortalities. 
This species is considered one of the deadliest of the true vipers. In Sri Lanka, where this nocturnal viper likes to rest in paddy fields, they cause high mortality among paddy farmers during harvest time. The snake's venom can lead to an awful smorgasbord of symptoms, acute kidney failure, severe bleeding and multi-organ damage. The saw-scaled viper is the smallest member of the big four in India, along with Russell's viper, the common crate and the Indian cobra thought to be responsible for the most bites and related deaths in the country. Rather than the stereotypical hissing sound attributed to snakes, this viper starts sizzling by rubbing together special serrated scales when threatened. Once bitten by this viper, a person will have localized swelling and pain in the area, followed by potential hemorrhage. Since the venom messes with a person's ability to clot blood, it can lead to internal bleeding and ultimately acute kidney failure. The banded crate is a slow mover during the day and is much more likely to bite after dark. The snake's venom can paralyze muscles and prevent the diaphragm from moving. This stops air from entering the lungs, effectively resulting in suffocation. The king cobra is the world's longest venomous snake, measuring up to 18 feet. The snake's impressive eyesight allows it to spot a moving person from nearly 330 feet away. When threatened, a king cobra will use special ribs and muscles in its neck to flare out its hood or the skin around its head. These snakes can also lift their heads off the ground about a third of their body length. Its claim to fame is not so much the potency of its venom, but rather the amount injected into victims. Each bite delivers about 7 milliliters of venom, and the snake tends to attack with 3 or 4 bites in quick succession. Even a single bite can kill a human in 15 minutes and an adult elephant in just a few hours. You could be bitten multiple times before becoming aware of the coastal taipan, thanks to its incredible speed. When threatened, this snake, which lives in the wet forests of temperate and tropical coastal regions, will lift its whole body off the ground as it jumps fangs first with extraordinary precision and injects venom into its enemy. The inland taipan is one of the most venomous snakes, meaning just a teensy bit of its venom can kill prey or human victims. They live tucked away in the clay crevices of Queensland and South Australia's floodplains, often within the pre-dug burrows of other animals. Living in more remote locations than the coastal taipan, the inland taipan rarely comes into contact with humans. When the taipan does feel threatened, the snake coils its body into a tight S shape before darting out in one quick bite or multiple bites. A main ingredient of this venom, which sets it apart from other species, is the hyaluronidase enzyme. 